The future of Equestria was pretty dark. No pony had access to magic, the three pony races were separated, and that left a lot of hostility towards each other. All of this, and it wasn't until the crystals were brought together that magic even returned. But what if I told you that every pony still had access to magic the whole time? So I know that this is a pretty bold claim to make, especially since no pony can even use magic in the future. But I think they've all been using magic the entire time. So what do they still have that ponies in the past had? Well, they still have their cutie marks. Cutie marks are a symbol of a pony's special talent. And while magic can't be used to make one appear, the cutie marks are magical themselves. And how are they magical? Well, the marks on the pony's flank aren't just linked to the pony's destiny. They're also linked to the magical abilities that each pony has. Remember Starlight's village? Every pony there had lost their cutie mark. This caused them all to perform badly when it came to their talent. Just take a look at Sugar Bell. Her special talent was making sweets for other ponies to enjoy. But when she gave up her cutie mark, she could only make terrible sweets. And the same thing happened when the main six lost their cutie marks. This explains why Twilight didn't use a single spell to escape, and why Applejack couldn't break down the door. So cutie marks are magical in nature. But then why is it that they only have one cutie mark on one side of their flank while every pony in the past has always had two? Well, I think there's a really good reason for this. And it's also the reason why they still have cutie marks to begin with. So who do we know that has the ability and the magic to affect all of Equestria at once? And who do we know that has the magical power to open up holes to other dimensions? That's right, Discord. Discord is the only being we know of that has the magical power to affect all of Equestria at once. But I thought Discord was reformed. After everything he did with Tyrik and the other villains, why would he do anything that could affect his standing with his friends? Well, I think he did it because of his friends. Imagine if something had happened to Twilight that would leave all of Equestria without its ruler. And sure, Cadence of Flurryheart could step in, but they have their own kingdom to handle. And what happens when a ruler leaves leaves their kingdom, the kingdom falls apart. And we've already seen how fragile the peace between the different pony races actually are. I mean, Tyrik, Chrysalis, and Cozy Glow were all able to turn the different pony races against each other easily. So without Twilight there to govern the masses, tensions would slowly start to rise. And seeing this, Discord would do what he does best. He would teach them all a lesson about friendship. And with Discord being Discord, he would do it in a chaotic way and end up taking away the magic from Equestria leaving just enough for them to get by. And this would create a rift between the pony races where they not only blame each other for magic disappearing, they would also blame the princess that was supposed to protect them, Twilight. And this explains why no pony knew about Twilight Sparkle in the future. There would be no need for any pony to know about her because she would be seen as a traitor for abandoning them. And for each pony to only have a limited amount of magic, that means that they would only have one cutie mark, enough to show that magic still exists. And finally, Discord would finish the lesson by storing the magic into three crystals for each tribe to use. And once all of the tribes truly came together in friendship, then the magic of the crystals would be released and restore magic to all of Equestria. And that's why I think every pony still had magic to begin with, just not in a usual way that you'd expect. Anyway, I really adore this kind of theory, especially since it explains why Discord is so absent in the future. But it leaves one question unanswered. What happened to Twilight Sparkle? Well, I'm gonna leave that for you to answer. So let me know your thoughts on it in the comments. And I have an announcement. I really like making these kinds of videos for you all. But by me uploading every week, it means I only get 6 hours of sleep a day. So from now on, I'll be releasing a new video every 10 days. Plus, this will give me more time to make better content for you and even make my videos a lot longer. Because like I said, I will get better in every video. And with that being said, I'm sure you really understand why. And I also want to thank all of you for subscribing and sharing each of my videos. This channel has grown so much since the three weeks that I started it. And it's all thanks to you. So thank you. Before I go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video as well. And you can always follow me on my tweeting Twitter. And this is Windstriker signing off. Until 10 days from now, hoof to heart.